Hi, I'm Mark. I have an oven in my car and little to no experience in baking. Join me as I bake in my car. Today we're camped near Glen Davis on the central tablelands of New South Wales. It's a Saturday night, we've got the barbecue going, and I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate side, macaroni and cheese. Before we get started, I'd like you to meet Bijan, he's our guest barbecue expert today. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. Here's a list that you can screenshot for later. Now let's get started. First thing you want to do is fill a pot with water. Place that pot on the stove to boil and add some salt. Now put two cups of milk into a pot and warm it up on the stove. Make sure to watch this and occasionally stir it so you don't accidentally burn it. Now melt some butter in a large pan and add a teaspoon of crushed garlic. When that's melted, add two tablespoons of flour and mix it together using a wooden spoon. Now slowly mix in the milk. Add some cracked pepper, one salt, salt, and a little bit of paprika. Now add your cheese to the mixture. Don't be afraid to pour in the whole packet. Now strain your macaroni, because it's time to put it all together. Pour the macaroni into the cheese and give it a stir. If it sounds like this, you've done a good job. Now pour your macaroni into a deep baking tray. This one's made in Australia by Somerville Metalworks and is specifically designed for the Travel Buddy oven. I'll put a link in the description. Now it's time to add some more cheese. Pour a whole second packet of the four cheese mix on top of the macaroni. Add some parmesan as well. Now for extra crunch, put some panko crumbs on top of the cheese. Now put it in a preheated oven as hot as it'll go for 30 minutes. While you're waiting, let's check out the barbecue. So here we have six kilos of oversized slow cooked beef and short ribs with a homemade barbecue sauce. Now pull it out of the oven. It should look something like this. Now serve it up with all the other food and enjoy your night. Here's the finished meal. And there you have it. Macaroni and cheese, all baked in your car. Thank you for watching Baked in My Car. Make sure to like and subscribe and to follow us on Instagram at Baked in My Car.